Hey guys, Quinton here from the Audi Evo 3.0 channel and today I'm going to review my second dream car. This is actually my car. This is the A6 C5 2.4 litre V6 uh, Tiptronic Avant from the front wheel drive. 1998, so uh, anyways, let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to look at the design here. The front, I'm going to walk around the front. Very nice. Still needs to wash, so sorry, I apologize, but it's gonna get a wash this weekend. Just bought it two days ago, so. <laughs> See, you got the nice the front, nice grill. This is a non facelift, so it still has kind of the little bit more, um, as the lights are more on the angle. So you got the grill in the front, the Audi logo. Looks very nice. Nice front design. It's like it's only one year of product after one year of production is 1998 he started producing them in 1997 so yeah see got the lights in the grill there down there and down there because the light washers right there both sides walk around here Very nice design. This is uh, the A4 B6 is my favorite uh, car, but this is my second favorite car. Absolutely love them. Both cars I love in the van. This is done. So yeah, basically love them both. Looks nice 17 inch rims on mine. Got new brakes and stuff already fitted. New tires, new Michelin tires. You got the indicators in the side there. Nice chrome lines. Also, the guy replaced the uh, well, bought it from replaced the, uh, the top rails for chrome ones. Some of the original black ones, which it looks a lot better. The car got the filler fuel filler cap on this side. Only thing that's missing is which I'm, which I am going to buy is the Audi logo. That has to be on there, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely get yeah, an old school antenna on top. Lights. Obviously it's pretty a bit dirty, but I'm gonna give it a good clean. I'm gonna polish it well. Take a good look at it. Absolutely love this design of car. Love it. Fantastic. Again, indicator on the side. And this is the uh, non-facelift, which has still has the exactly uh, exactly the same as the B5 Passat mirrors. Then uh, I'm gonna replace them because on the other side you've got like half the mirror pardon so yeah I'm gonna play it replace them with some maybe s six mirrors or just normal a6 three liter mirrors we'll go around it once more take a good look at the car very nice design Sorry for the wind, however it's a bit cold, but it's still nice and shine to film, of course. I probably see right there, rear view mirror, it's like half piece, which I'm going to change because it doesn't, <laughs> I don't like that, it doesn't look normal, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to definitely change that. Also, I'm going to talk in the end of this video, I'm going to talk about the plans that I got this for this car. Not too big, but however, pretty exciting still. Front. There we go. Very nicely designed car. Basically, in my opinion, the best A6 ever made, and probably one of the best Audis ever made. Let's 
So, uh, what we're now going to do is I'm going to show you the interior and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Of course, you open the car, you get the same key as my B6 A4 3 liter. You pop the key like that, click on that, and it opens the car. Open the door. And again, the same for the outside, the, also the on the inside, of course, fantastic, timeless design, in my opinion. Nice, nice leather seats. All seats in this car, even in the back, are all heated. Like it's a pretty luxury version. <laughs> the car's got quite a lot. See in the door. Got the knobs there. So open the windows, all four sides. The nice chrome handle there and to lock the car of course got these storage bins see it see it and what i love about this car is you got the classic absolute classic 1990 1992 uh, to 95 a6 C4 or Audi 100 style or S2 or RS2 style steering wheel. Um, I love this. This is absolutely amazing. My favorite steering wheel. Probably gonna put it, maybe put it in the B6 as well because it looks absolutely very authentic and very nice. Obviously, you got wheels there. There, you got a cup holder there. Let's get into get into the car. You go ahead, quick. Close the door. Still very nice inside seeing the cabin. Maybe a mirror there. The lights there. It's very nice dashboard design. Still, it's, even to this day, that still looks really good. They even slightly reused this kind of design in the A8 D3, which they produced until 2011. Which shows how nice this design is. Again, storage bins, no side electric window, nice home handle there, nice wood trim. So you go here, if I pop this behind there, you've got the original Audi radio. That do we every Wednesday in Maatwerk. Let we television. And all the knobs that you may need. And of course, for your heated seats, there and there. And of course, for heating in the car, all the knobs you got there. And you got your warning lights. Also, you got the ASR button. I don't think this car has ESP because the ESP was in these cars from 1999 to 2000, I think. Then they got ESP. This is ASR. Very nice, you see, very nice old school Audi steering wheel. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Also, nice sporty steering wheel. Looks very nice. Also, the logo is put in the steering wheel. Very nice with this design. I love it. Absolutely my favorite steering wheel for Audi, in my opinion. So, see, you've got all the dials and stuff. You've got how much uh, I thought you've got in the battery right there. You see got the speedometer, you've got your fuel there, you've got your water temperature, you've got your uh, ref counter there, and you've got your clock. And even the, one of the most useful things of this car, which my B6A4 doesn't have and most cars don't have, is an oil temperature uh, gauge. Really handy this, because most people, as soon as that, that hits 90 degrees, then they start putting the foot down, whilst that is, is only just at 60 degrees, which is... Not warm enough for to give, uh, of course, to punch the throttle. Of course, very nice feature. They should have kept it in all in all Audis and basically in all uh, kind of brands. So, yeah, of course. If you move down here, you've got your light switch. See, got the nice red light, and then. Your lights. 
take over to you guys. The car has run about 250,000 kilometers. And look, the switch is in perfect condition. Still, those little niggly things just don't break on this car. If you take good car, care of it, basically any car, then they will last a long time. See, I've got your Tiptronic, the old generation of Tiptronic. Mine, a 4 b 6 has a new generation of Tiptronic 5-speed. And then it has an actual sport mode as well. This is just a, a drive mode where you can shift yourself. The B6 also has that, but then the B6 has an extra feature to uh, go into sport mode. See, and that still works perfectly fine. Also down here, you've got your ashtray. Nice old school ashtray. Pop it back there. See, got these top of here. Put in there. Very nice on both sides. On the B6, you probably got, only got that on one side. You've got there your sunroof. So let me just. Eventually, I'm going to show you that in a moment. That's when the car is running. You've got your light switches here. See, so, uh, and of course, you've got this handy little thing here with an actual old school phone style thingy. It's basically something of the past. I'm definitely going to keep it in there because it's nice and original. This thing still also still works, hasn't broken. Like good quality car, this. So, let's get out of the car. I'm going to show you the back. back again old school ashtrays obviously yeah from the good old days of smoking again storage bins nice leather heated seats in the back as well very nice again nice lovely chrome handle here it's all very all everything's very solid on this car same as the b6a4 that i have uh, you got of course your storage nets on both sides Back here, close the door. You see, very nice to be in. Very nice leather seats. And of course, in the back, you see here, and also the heated seats, which is there. Uh, I got this little uh, smoky thing that's in the front there. So, again, storage bins. Ashtray for your there is for your yeah, electric windows. Very nice chrome handle there. Key again, see light switch there, and also light is basically independent. You see, so yes. Also, on all four sides you got Handles, also stuff to hang things right there. That side as well. Oh, that doesn't want to pop out at the moment. See? Oh, very nice. See? Basically, foot back. Also, you've got in the middle, you've got this middle console thingy. Basically, you've got your first aid kit in there. So in the back, we've got even more there, and more stuff in there. This folds in like that. So let's get out of the car, and let's show you the back. This has huge space in the back. See, you've got your emergency triangle right in there. This little thing, it's a little bit broken. Yeah, after 250,000 kilometers, then it's basically wrong. It's, yeah, but it's still wrong thing, but yeah, it's 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 a lot of kilometers already done. You've got your 
you got your soft fur, I think, uh, your soft wolf in there. There's a soft uh, factory fitted soft wolf in there. Of course, you've got your normal stuff like your wheels and tyres, and you've got your pump, uh, stuff like that. So, very, very handy, and a lot of room like a lot of room. 12 volt socket, as you can see there. Yeah. Basically back, if you're gonna go camping with this, you can definitely sleep in the back of this car, easily. So, there's one thing left to do, and that is of course, to start the car. Let's start the car. The ski. Put it up. Get in, go see. Got electric seats on both sides as well. Electric mirrors, as I forgot. So, uh, let's get your key. Pop it in there. You can do this by camera. Put your foot on the brake, which is an automatic. Wait a little bit so all the lights have gone. Yes, here we go. This has a uh, D cat, so it has one of the cats gone. That's why it's rattling. Two pernate also has the same. If you uh, D cat it, you get this sound. It's still very cold, guys, so I'm gonna have one nice and warm. See, all the displays are still working. Nice. When park, you probably see. And also, this, we do this. That to open it, and uh, probably see the roof opens. Very nice feature that. Of course, to close it. I put it back like that. So that run a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna. First of all, we're gonna do now check out the engine. Of course, you've got. Just to pop the hood. <coughs> and let's talk about the specs. There it is. There is Audi's fa famous 2.4 liter V6. And why famous? Uh, because it is definitely the best V6 Audi has ever made. It's not the most powerful, but still, it's a pretty powerful unit. Uh, it's not the most powerful, but it's definitely, hands down, the most reliable V6 they ever built. They could run 500,000 to 700,000 kilometers at the least, if they could care of them. It's basically an amazing piece of engineering. Uh, I don't, don't know why they stopped making this engine, because this is absolutely a masterpiece. Uh, yeah, it runs, that's probably it, it runs really nice. Specs for this engine is basically uh, on paper they have 170 horsepower and 230 newton meters, but that's actually very underrated. It actually has 205 horsepower and 310 newton meters, so definitely a lot of poke in this thing. And also the funny thing is the 2.8 is a larger engine of this version of this has got 230 horsepower and 360 newton meters. There's basically an ACU tune with an ECU tune and an air filter. You're gonna get about 37 more horsepower, which means that you get you have about 242 horsepower and 360 newton meters. So then, if you do you put just an air filter in that and basically ECU tune it, you've got the exactly you have even more horsepower than the 2.8 and the same torque as the 2.8. So definitely still very well tunable engines. Also in stock form with the 205 horsepower and 310 newton meters. Top speed is about with this gearbox with front wheel drive is about 250 kilometers per hour. 250 with a large car like this, it's amazing. As even on the highway, it's fantastic. My dad drove it, and yeah, it still has a, even you are driving about 140 kilometers per hour uh, on the German autobahn, and he uh, and he basically only used half throttle and it just kept pulling and pulling and pulling it was insane I heavily underrated this engine because I've actually thought this engine wasn't powerful enough to move this car properly 
but in the state which this car is, it's basically it's got all the power still. Um, it's got more than enough power to move this uh, this car, like literally more than enough. Because zero to one hundred with front wheel drive in about seven point five to eight seconds. This seems I was slightly wrong. The A6 actually does seven seconds from zero to one hundred and thirty seconds from zero to two hundred. So now you know. <laughs> Yes, that's amazing. That's the same as a uh, as an old uh, Golf GTI 1.8 T. So yeah, and that also has 200 horsepower. And this weighs 1535 kilograms, and the Golf probably weighs only like 1400. So yeah, that's uh, some good performance out of this engine. Really, really good performance. Also, it even I've even seen speeds up to 260 kilometers per hour top speed, which is absolutely amazing. But the plans basically for me is basically giving that East U tune and that air filter and exhaust, and then it will go all the way up to 260 horsepower and 390 newton meters, at almost exactly the same amount of power as my stock 3 liter has in the A4, which has 265 horsepower and 400 newton meters. So yeah, then then this thing will be absolutely quick. Probably will then we'll do probably like zero to 100 in like six to 6.5 seconds, which is amazing. That's like. Now that's like as fast as a new, as a brand new GTI, which has about 300 horsepower, 290 to 300 horsepower, which is absolutely insane. So as you can see, it idles very nice, runs really nice. Basically, um, if you're buying an A6, you want good performance, amazing, fantastic, uh, faultless reliability, but also not too expensive in daily driving. This is the car that you should go for, the 2.4 V6. Definitely, it's absolutely amazing. Also, of course, you've got the 2.8 and 3 liter. But if you've got a good 2.4, then the 2.8 is quicker, of course, but not too much quicker. So, actually, really, really good engine. Runs really nice. Let's close the bottom. Or the, the oh, yeah, gotta do it a little bit more carefully or a little bit harder. There it is. Very nice. Back into it. I'm gonna wait until the temp is up. So uh, then, uh, and I'm gonna give you a nice sound because it sounds really, really nice. Basically, in terms of what I'm, as I just told you, uh, I want to give it a stage two ECU tune, an air filter, and exhaust. And that basically gives me an extra 57 to 60 horsepower so then it will go up to 260 horsepower ish to stuff, stuff, something like that so uh, yeah about 260 265 horsepower so same as my 3 liter and about 380 to 400 newton meters of torque which is absolutely insane for 2.4 and they definitely could easily take it this engine because it's it's a fantastic engine as I said and it's basically the same as a stage 1 tune for a turbo car so it's absolutely fine Probably will run the better. Even that now it has more than enough power with a two with a stock 205 horsepower and 310 newton meters, but the extra 90 newton meters torque and an extra 55 to 60 horsepower is definitely will definitely help this car quite a lot. But it's still it is guys. I know uh, maybe if you want to buy one of these and you see a lot of these videos on YouTube, they are not like that. They are not really good taken care of. Uh, and that's why they lack hugely in power but now I've seen this is like a really really good one this runs like brand new and when they run like that they have a like a lot of power like my brother has a W210 E280 and it, this is only just not as fast as that maybe slightly far, uh, slightly slower than that but it's it's about as fast as a Mercedes 2.8 so about as fast. It could it could definitely stay with the 2.8, which is absolutely amazing. After I've chipped this, 
this will be as fast as a three liter. So uh, yeah, definitely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Also, if you're buying a 2.4, the basically the best um the best uh of course to buy the 2.4 in is this a6 with front wheel drive tiptronic or the a6 2.4 with quattro and five speed manual or the basically the best home this engine found is in the a4 b5 uh 2.4 quattro avant five speed manual that's basically the best if you want the 2.4 but also in the a6 front wheel drive it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Also, I reviewed, a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the A6 C6 uh, 2.4 V6. Um, that is not the same engine as this, I'm gonna make that very clear. That's also a really good engine, uh, but it's not as far from as good as this. This is, the because that's a 24 valve engine, this is a 30 valve engine that has direct injection. This is, this is uh, MPI, so normal injection. So, yeah, this is basically, this is basically, if you want the 2.4, buy the old ones, like the 165, uh, 170 horsepower. Don't look at the 180, only if you have uh, enough money, of course, to mend it. It's still, the other engine is really, really good, but it has a timing chain, and then the engine has to be lifted out, and uh, yeah, that's uh, not really, really nice, to be honest. So, they're both amazing cars, but basically the car to buy is the A6 C5. It's just a better car, uh, in all... Uh, all engines are just better in this car as well so uh, yeah so anyways uh, I'm gonna wait and uh, until it's nice and warm uh, see the oil is heating up as you probably see when that's in between there like you see the next dot that the dial is gonna hit in between then in between there where my nail is exactly then the uh, oil is hot and then we're gonna do a sound test also guys one more thing before we're gonna do sound test Basically, fuel economy is really good. It runs about seven liters on 100 kilometers on the highway, and about to about nine liters to 10 liters on the on the highway, at about 140, 150 kilometers per hour. So, is it for a V6? It's very economical, pretty much. It's it basically is a, is as efficient as our Gol 4 2.0. So, is it's basically runs as efficient as a two liter four cylinder. So yeah, there you go. So basically, these cars now retail for in between 500 for a really bad one and 3,000 to 4,000 for a really good one. I paid 2,100 for a perfect condition one, so which means I paid perfect. I, I got this thing for a really good price. So yeah, it's really runs really nice. So anyways, up to the sound test. Also, guys, forgot one, one more thing. If you want to check out, also reviewed an A6 C5 Quattro Tiptronic, a sedan, but then a 2.8. Go check it out on my channel. Uh, reviewed it about eight, eight to ten months ago. So definitely check that video out. You're probably gonna like this as well. Anyways, to the sound test. See, this is when it's warm. See, it's exactly in the middle of the. Oil heat and right there, of course, 90 degrees there, and then there. Then you can start uh, hitting the gas. So, the door. My side. Sounds really good. <laughs> Let me just get to the back of the car. Do it one more time and then... Uh, beautiful, yeah. sounds amazing <laughs> it sounds really good so uh, now I'm gonna just gonna let it 
basically run a little bit more because I revved it. So let it run a piece a little bit and then uh, shut it off and uh, yeah. So let's get out of the car. So guys, this is uh, of course the, as I told you the plans are basically do an exhaust stage 2 ECU tune and air filter and of course give it some 20 inch rims and of course the exhaust from at the back like there and there instead of just exhaust you can't see so those are basically the things that I want to do this to this thing and that's basically it and of course tinted windows so uh, anyways guys that was Quinton and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye guys